Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss some of the questions related to your paste and categories of paste. Okay, these two topics we will discuss at a time. So your first question is among the following, which is not a definition of paste. You see some of the definitions we have discussed in the theory class. So now you see. Any organism that causes significant and economic damage to crops, stored, produced, and animals. That is a pest, no doubt. A pest is any organism which occurs in large number and conflict with man's welfare, convenience, and profit. This is also a definition. A pest is an organism which harm man or his property significantly or is likely to do so. This is also a pest. Yes or no? That means we should know <coughs> this term. Like one is economic damage or economic injury must be there. Then Men related with what? Crop, store, produce, and animals, or his property? Yes or no? So all are your what? Your definition of pest. So what is the question? Among the following, which is not a definition of pest? So none of the above because all of the three are definition of the pest. Now coming to your second question, pest does not includes weeds. Are they pest? Yes. Valuable crops, these are not the paste. Reds, paste. Dog and fox, paste. So your answer will be your B. Valuable crops. Now coming to GP stands for what? General equilibrium position. This is the right answer. Huh? Yes or no? No need to see any other. General equilibrium position is the abbreviation of GP. Next comment you receive one definition is there. This is the definition of what it is asking. The average density of a population over a long period of time around which the paste population fluctuates. This average they have taken. Yes or no? This is a definition of what? GP. Yes or no? The answer will be your what? GP. But torment condition is in the absence of permanent environmental changes. Okay. So the answer will be your GP general equilibrium position <clears throat> loss caused by one individual insect that is known as what your injury equivalent yes or no that means that is your answer is b next one is the lowest level of damage that can be measured is known as what what is that <clears throat> damage boundary so your answer will be your db option C. Okay. Damage boundary. Next one is population density at which control measures should be initiated or implemented. Definitely this is ETL. Yes or no? Huh? So the answer will be your economic threshold level otherwise known as action threshold. Next one is the lowest population density that will cause economic damage. That is known as what? Your EIL economic injury level next one you see this is important which among the following is correct what I told you what is the relationship your EIL yes or no equals to your ETL okay ETL plus daily reproductive rate yes or no huh? So where the example if you see ETL plus EIL, no. ETL minus EIL, no. This must be smaller. So ETL equals to EIL minus daily reproductive rate of the insect. This is correct one. Yes or no? So the answer will be your option C. <clears throat> Next one is unit of ETL and EIL. That will be your insect per unit area or else uh, suppose insect uh, per meter square or number of insect per hectare. Something will be there means that is also correct. Okay, some number of insect will be there or some unit area that is a unit of both ETL and EIL. The ETL level for disease carrying vector will be always what I have told that will be your 0 or 1 because they are highly potential. If in the plot where the disease is there and for that disease particular vector is there then if 1 is there then also they can cause economic damage. That's why here the ETL will be 0 or 1. Generally you can tell 1. In case of termites, what will be the ETL? You see, suppose this is your wall and this is your roof. Huh? 
Suppose termite has attacked only this much, they have created the termite area. Will you wait? No, when that will construct some 25 uh, what, meter, then only I will destroy this particular termite area. No, yes or no? Wherever you see, you will go for destroy them, apply some pesticide or kerosene, then that, that will be cured. Yes or no? That's why it is told that for termites, no ETL is there. If you find it, immediately damage it. <clears throat> when the value of the crop increases, then what will happen to the ETL? This is inversely proportional, yes or no, decreases, okay. Try to, if you are unable to understand these things, you please go to that video, okay, where I have discussed what are the factors of, or factors affecting your uh, ETL and EIL, there you can understand these things properly. It is there in the description, you can see and watch over that. When the management cost of the crops for pest increases, what happens? What I have told? Think it reversely. That means, when input cost increases, not like this. How to think? When number of insects increases, management cost increases. When management cost increases, insect number increases. If insect number is increasing, ETL is increasing. That means, when the management cost of the crop is increasing, ETL also can be fixed at higher rate increases okay <clears throat> next one is now what i have told when the crops are at vegetative stage or when the crops are resistant older yes or no then the tail will be always higher yes or no but suppose the plant is at reproductive stage or they are susceptible or they are in the seedling stage then they are it will be at lower rate, higher and lower, yes or no, where it is there, ever, yes or no, huh? higher and lower. Best of stage, it will be higher, in reproductive stage, it will be lower. How and how, uh, how and how that is uh, utilized, you can see that video and you can understand why they are like that, okay. Similarly, here you see, resistant or older is there, yes or no, in that also again higher, but in case of susceptible seedling stage, that will be lower. Again, the option A. Now, you see, these are the questions of uh, categories of paste. Paste, second part of the video. Okay. Paste which occurs most frequently in a crop and have close association. Close association and most frequently means that will be your regular paste. Yes or no? No confusion. Any confusion? Then, Paste where a close association is not there, that means infrequent, with a particular crop is absent and they occur infrequently, that means they are occasionally coming, those are known as what your occasional paste. Next one is paste which occurs mostly during a particular part of the year or in a particular season, that means these are seasonal paste, yes or no, they are coming in a particular time only, particular season only. Yes or no? But don't confuse with epidemic, seasonal and sporadic paste. Huh? There is a complete difference. Okay, you can understand it from the second part of the video, categories of paste. Paste which occur on a crop almost throughout the year. What is the meaning? Persistent. Yes or no? They will be occurring in the plant throughout the year. Then, paste which occurs in a severe form in a region or locality at a particular season. You see what I have told, epidemic means severely in a particular time, endemic means regularly in a particular area. So, what are the terms here, you see, severe is there and particular season is there, yes or no, in a region, but it is not mentioned in a particular region, yes or no. Huh? So, severe and particular season, that will be your epidemic paste, paste which occurs regularly in a particular region, regularly particular region, then that will be your endemic paste. Paste where GEP always lies above EIL, which one? This is the category, yes or no? This is ETL, this is EIL and here the GEP will be there. This is known as what your key paste, okay, where GEP always lies above your EIL and ETL, yes or no? That is known as what your key paste. Then this is important, paste where damage is more than 10 percent, that will be known as what your major paste. Suppose the question is 5 to 10 percent, then that will be your minor paste, yes or no, paste where damage is 5 to 10 percent, that will be your 
minor paste. Now you can see paste which normally do not cause any economic damage but any change in the ecosystem may make them to cause economic damage. This is known as what your potential paste. Okay, don't get confused that is your potential paste. Okay, then coming to your MEP. MEP stands for what? Your modified equilibrium position. Yes or no? Which one? Modified I should write on this one. Modified equilibrium position. Okay. Is it there? No. It is not there here. Yes or no? So here the answer will be your none of the above. Yes or no? Huh? Modified equilibrium position is the answer. Where you can find this one? In case of key paste. Okay. You uh, try to understand this one. What is the meaning? And you can clearly understand from that video. Then you can see this word peste. Two terms are there. One is peste, one is pestis. Yes or no? So this peste came from which word? Your French word. And the meaning is plague you or a contagious disease. Yes or no? Huh? Peste came from your French word. But your pestis came from this Latin word where the meaning is noxious, destructive or troublesome organism. Yes or no? Pestis came from your Latin word. Then coming to this painted body butterfly, okay, Pyramus cardui. That is a paste of artichokes, okay. That is paste in where? In case of which country? France. But it is not regarded as paste in, paste in case of England. Huh? Try to remember, not that much important, okay, but still you should know historical things okay so this much is the question one more question i want to ask you which you should give in the comment box that what is the difference between epidemic paste seasonal paste and your sporadic paste okay this is a question for you what is the difference between epidemic paste versus seasonal paste versus sporadic paste very very important you should know the difference okay and uh, try to answer it in the comment box okay and you see if any kind of doubt is there you can ask in the comment box okay thank you thank you very much if anything you cannot understand properly you can watch this uh, paste and categories of paste video part one part two two are there part one or part two a and b it is there you can go through that and you can understand so many things from that okay apart from these questions thank you have a nice day